All right, uh, Adam. Mm. Thank you so much for coming on uh, Valley Advocate Sessions as hey, uh, Tundra Toddler. A pleasure to have you. Me. Excellent. <clears throat> um, how did you get started uh, uh, doing uh, performing as Tundra Toddler? Performing as Tundra Toddler, yeah. or just starting it, or, or starting um, the music, or the performing, whatever came first. I'm trying to keep this really quick. Okay, so like uh, actually ten years, just just over ten years ago, um, I, I wasn't making music. I had taken like a two year break, um, and I didn't really. <laughs> I was doing a really bad job of making music, even worse than I am now, and. Uh, so I felt really kind of dissuaded from doing it, and and all of my friends uh, really loved Daniel Johnson. And I felt like it was really weird and like exploitative. I felt like they just liked him because of his his like mental health status, and I thought that that's why they like they just really like kind of worshipped that. So I made like this fake, and this is like h horrible. Like looking back on this, it's like the least like woke thing to do. But I made this like fake sort of avatar called Tundra Toddler. And like I even had like the alliteration of like I just want to make like a, a like an indie pop thing, and I was just like I can I can just fart out like like a, a bunch of songs like in the course of a month, and I did I like I like recorded this like six song EP, and I just distributed it anonymously, um, not like in person because that would be a terrible way to distribute things anonymously. But I like I left copies all over the place, and I like mailed people copies, and um, and like you know people liked it and. It was like way different from this stuff. It was like guitar, bass, drums, stuff like that. And uh, um, it was fun, but then I didn't do anything with it for a bunch of years because I was in other bands. And um, and I kind of just resurrected this in a totally different form. And uh, I had no intention of playing live with it, but um, unfortunately no one, that's the best way for, for people to hear music is just to play it live. And I kind of, Miss playing live, so I just I started doing this like a year and a half ago, I think, maybe two years ago. But yeah. One thing I really appreciated is uh, how intricate the music is, uh, how arranged everything is. Uh, how do you go about like writing your material? Um, actually, a lot of it is like total like chaos. Um, so I, I used to do circuit bending uh, like 10, 11 years ago, and so I like learned a lot about like electronics and fix, like fixing synthesizers and one term that I learned when doing that like I started getting into like all this like uh, like avant-garde electronic music and I learned the term like aleatoric music which means chance music so you just like um, one way of doing that is you, you kind of uh, set a bunch of like rules for yourself like these, these parameters to work within like um, you know like this piece of music that I'm gonna make has to be in this based on this weird scale or um, I, I can only use like screwdrivers and sliced bread to make the rhythm track to this song. Just like all like really random chaotic things, and you and like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and uh, um, you just kind of you basically barf a bunch of chaos like into you know the laptop or four track or whatever, and then you kind of like edit it down and and uh, and you just you try and kind of like force whatever it is you're trying to convey like into that or you use that as like a starting point and you're like okay this reminds me of this type of thing and you uh you start conveying these thoughts or feelings uh based on that as, as a starting point so that's kind of the extent of arranging it and like it sometimes it's like really self-indulgent and it, it doesn't work at all that's what happens <laughs> Like the, the water bottle just like, explodes in your hands. Well, I, that, that's one thing I appreciate. That, like it, you can hear the or, kind of organized chaos in the piece, but like like uh, there there is like um, a, a general like like melody or in some cases, and then then you can go in the avant garde stuff in, in other cases. Um, do you have any any uh, up, uh, any new releases as far as like uh, records coming up or um, or something you just released? I ha well, I have something I put out back in January that um, I was I was mo I was drunk most of the time when I made it, and um, so it has a certain sound to it, and uh, I don't really like it right now. So <laughs> that's like the worst thing to put on an album. <laughs> and be like, I'm just not gonna push yeah. it. But like, I don't. I'm not doing this 
for a living, so I don't really have to worry about pushing things. But um, so I'm not really pushing that so much, but I have like a new um, thing that is, it's mostly recorded and Mark Allen Miller is gonna be mixing it. And I think Andy Kivla is playing drums on it. Um, it's just drums and mixing. That's like the only thing that has to um, happen. So, I, is there a release date uh, for that or? Probably next spring. I have to like cough up the money to, actually I'm gonna need money to get it mastered because one of the things I don't like about the last album that I did was I mastered it myself and like mastering stuff that you mix yourself doesn't come out right. Um, so I need to like, I'm, I'm probably gonna start like a GoFundMe to, you know, it will be like a pre-order thing. Anyone who uh, contributes is just pre-ordering the, the album and some other like goodies. And uh, um, like, I would say my hair, you know, I would like mail them pieces of my hair. But, I mean, I guess I could just like have a patch here that I like harvest every few weeks and just like, kind of. but um, yeah, so probably next spring, early summer. Um, and I've got a bunch of other things that I've started working probably won't see the light of day for a while, but I think that's it. Okay. Well, thanks so much, uh, hey. Adam, for being part Thank of Thank you. This was a lot of fun. This is great. These yeah. nights are awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs>